I told you guys that I was officially entering my vlogging era and this is the new setup with the camera. Like, I feel super official now. I just, that's all the unboxing of the camera and that. I am going on my first brand trip and I just figured that this would be the perfect opportunity to invest in a vlog camera and really vlog the entire trip for you guys. Um, so let's start now with the packing. We're only going for three days, four days, and yeah, I have a lot of stuff because you just never know what you're gonna need. And then all of the jackets, it's a total mess in here, but both of my suitcases. I also think that I'm going to bring a duffel bag and then just like my purse, but this is all the stuff that I need to fit inside of the suitcases. Oh, and there are shoes on the other side. But at least I have a vlogging camera to vlog the entire experience. I'm so excited. Took a little break. I'm a little bit hungover and have a massive headache, but you gotta do what you gotta do when you're going to London town. I just finished packing. I fit everything into the really big away suitcase and the smaller one. I'm bringing my duffel bag and then just my purse as well. I'm doing the last minute things. Good thing I came into the bathroom to get my phone because that would be super awkward. I need to call the Uber to JFK. The last time I checked, it said that it was taking like 45 minutes to get there. Oh, okay, if I leave now, it's gonna take 40 minutes. Oh, it's a minute away, okay. Um, two minutes away. Okay, um, triple checking that everything is done. We're gonna turn off those lights. We're all ready, I'm gonna call it, and then let's go on our first ever brand trip. Yeah, till 11.45, right? Yeah. Just got through security, and now we're headed to the Virgin Atlantic Lounge, where apparently they have food, and drinks and I have two hours to kill before this flight so I'm really excited but also the way this is a problem with carrying a duffel bag is like now my shoulder is killing me I actually like really like vlogging with this camera um, prime class lounge no that's not me The JFK has cranked up the heat, but I'm sitting in this fun little bubble situation. They have QR codes. So we're gonna scan that and see what's on the menu. But seriously, I am overheating. Order food and drink. Of the small place, they have roast pumpkin soup, potted salmon, steamed vegetable goiza, or ooh, southern fried chicken burger. Then they have for young kids, ooh, chicken tenders honestly just like sound really, really good. Drinks, and the alcohols. They don't have any tequila though. Ooh, let's order like a glass of champagne because why not? They have wine. Oh, they have cocktails. Cocktails. I think I'm gonna order the chicken 
tikka masala because it comes with naan. I'm also like craving a Coke, but I think that's just because I'm really hot right now. And then we're gonna post up right here and just hang out for a little. This champagne is so good. I'm about to get myself another glass. Guys, look at how good this looks and how pretty it is. I am so excited to try this. I can't get over how good it looks in the presentation. Mm -hmm. The camera died and then I had to charge it and in the meantime I ordered a cheesecake that I've basically majority eaten but it is so good. It has like a raspberry sauce, raspberry compote or something and mm -hmm. London with YSL Beauty, my first ever brand trip, and I could not be more excited. bags come out quickly so that we can head off to the hotel my first commitment today with the YSL beauty team isn't until this evening I'm double checking but I think it's dinner tonight like a welcome dinner um, we're gonna like debrief and talk about what's going through my mind once we get to the hotel because I'm still I don't really believe that life is happening right now um, but then they're giving us complimentary facials, so I have that at 1 or 2 p.m. Not, I don't fully remember, but yeah, I <coughs> am at a loss for words. We just can't wait to meet everyone, meet the team that has like put together already such an incredible trip. And that's, that's the update that we have so far on what I'm doing. And we're headed off to the hotel. I, first of all, the flight was insane. Having the luxury of flying first class, like obviously makes such a big difference that you can sleep the entire way and you feel so amazing. So I'm, that's already just, I can't believe I just did that. And then now, having like a driver come pick me up in this beautiful new Mercedes. And he like opened my door for me. I've got little waters. And now we're gonna relax, sit back, and 
head off to the hotel. Here's a little room tour. The bathroom. Hey guys. She's like cute and vintagey and dark. I'm definitely gonna take a bath. Um, and then you walk in. YSL left me a little gift that I haven't opened yet, but the itinerary for this week, look at this. My initials are literally on the bed, or on the pillowcases. It's me again, and then, you have the really pretty courtyard and I have to go get my luggage. Can I come in? Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, Sorry. No way. Oh, wait. Oh. Mm. I don't have too many outfits. Yes. Complimentary shoe shine. Oh. If you have anything, you just you base it here and we'll come and collect it for you. Yeah. So that was crazy. They literally got us sunglasses, a wall or like a wallet or passport holder, which I'm obsessed with, and an air tag. Like, okay. I'm just incomplete. Like they went above and beyond, and this is insane. I showed you the bathroom, but the lights weren't on, so now you can get a better visual of what it looks like. Lighting is good. Look at how nice this bathroom looks. I'm so excited to wear it, but this is like great lighting for get ready with me later. Right now, I'm gonna unpack some of my stuff. I have a facial at two, so that gives me like 30 minutes. I also probably like smell, so like freshen up a little. And then, I'm hungry, I kinda wanna snack, so. my jackets are just sitting there but we're gonna go downstairs and go get a facial before running out and potentially getting a snack um, like I mentioned earlier the first event or first thing that we have is at seven um, so I have like a good amount of time but I wonder like who I'm gonna bump into and if like I wonder who else is gonna be here I already know Lauren Wolf is here because I saw um, her TikTok and Audrey, I don't want to mess up her name, but it's like T-R-U-I-L-L, -L. there's a G in there and some other stuff. I know they're both here, but I don't know who else is going to be here and I wonder if like I'm going to run into them, oh my gosh, run into them at the spa or something. You guys also have to see, I have to do a good debrief of, or a good overview of the lobby. It is so pretty, smells amazing. Okay, let's go. Day one, we've arrived in London and we are ready to just have the best weekend. I just have a feeling this weekend is gonna be, or this week, it's not a weekend, that this trip is going to be truly life-changing. Like, you know, we just have that gut feeling. But with that being said, let me grab my purse. If I was going outside, I'd bring my new sunglasses, but I don't need them. And then let's go. Actually, you can't, like you can see it, looks 
so good. They were using these products. The company's like Voltry or something. It's from Australia. Every single thing they put on my face was so light and delicate and rich and just felt so, so nice on. I wish that it had been like longer. The heated table, like everything about it was just amazing. And now I think I'm gonna go back to my room. We just got a text that we have to be ready in the lobby at like 6.15, 6.30. And I wanna be able to have like a nice long get ready with me, wear my robe. But then I also kind of want to go to Acme and see if they have this scarf that I've been looking for for a while. Um, oop, gotta go this way. So, so I have some things I need to do. Thank you very much. 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 you very much. Thank you very Thank you so much. you you are very welcome. you are also very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. you Collect the okay. tray. Is there anything else I might assist you today? No, that's it. Thank okay. you. Have a lovely day. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you, too. I've really been in like a Abba mood. Like, just want to feel like my life is Mamma Mia. It's 510 right now. So I'm going to go and start showering and get ready. Let me turn that off. I don't know what I'm wearing yet. I also don't know why I still have these sunglasses on. They just haven't left my head. Um, and we're gonna go from there, but we have about an hour. everything over here but this is look one for night one I kept it simple but I did what I know how to do best and I think it came out really good so I'm really happy but I'm running late well not really I just have to be down between like now and the next five minutes so let's pack our bag and then go. And then we're gonna meet everyone. So like I'm a little nervous. I wish I took I wish I could have taken a shot, but big girl things. Good morning. It's day two. I could not sleep last night. I don't know why. I ended up getting an hour of sleep, staying up for like six hours. And then I finally got to sleep, got woken up by housekeeping, went back to sleep. Last night was super fun, met everyone, the food was amazing. I didn't have space to, I didn't have space to bring the vlog camera, but today, I'm actually going to take you on like what we're doing. I need to get up and go shower. 
because we're gonna go explore a little bit at one, take some pictures, hang out. I have glam at 3.45, and then we're leaving for the master class, and then we go straight to the party, or we have master class, straight to dinner, straight to the party, and then I'll be back. So tonight's gonna be really fun, and then tomorrow is kind of just like a free-for-all. Um, I'm like so, I really needed to sleep. I'm kind of debating ordering room service and getting like some tea, cause that would be a fun little morning starter, but it is 11.51. I've got an hour to get ready. Hi, um, I was wondering if I could order breakfast. I just have um, English breakfast tea and then orange juice. Um, and then an ice water, please. And that's it. Yes. Because I'm mildly OCD, I planned all of my outfits on like um, PowerPoint and that way it would just be a lot easier for me when I was getting ready. I wouldn't have to like think about it, but because I thought that things were like divided into different segments and not like we're going makeup class straight to dinner, straight to after party, I'm gonna have to like switch it up. So the outfit that I have planned for today I'm gonna wear tomorrow because my hair is gonna be different and then for today's outfit or yes, tomorrow's outfit I'm wearing today so here is a little closet or these just finished getting ready but I have a couple minutes so let's go over the daily quote of today happiness is what oh my gosh I can't read sorry Happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are all in harmony. Also, I these sunglasses, now that I actually like look put together, are such a vibe. Like they were a vibe yesterday, they're even more of a vibe today. Okay, so first and foremost, obviously beautiful. Um, secondly, how much coverage do you like with your complexion? Um moisturizer or um, I just need to do this transition because I'm going to do my makeup like before and then after. Denial is a river in Egypt. Her husband is gay. Denial is a river in Egypt. Oh my god, why did I not know the words to that? Denial is a river in Egypt. Her husband is gay. Hey vlog. Totally forgot you guys were there. So you are like an MW9, but I mixed in just like a kiss of DN1, just for a little warmth, that's all. Spaghetti? Yes, I'm so excited. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. I'm so excited. Look how good my pasta looks. Good morning. I'm just gonna let you guys know, today is day three, our last day in London. I forgot to charge the vlog camera, so we're just gonna pretend that not, like yesterday just didn't happen. I didn't do much yesterday, um, except I filmed Glam, but he's coming to Glam me today and tonight, so whatever the party last night we met zoe kravitz who is 
stunning. She's so tiny and petite, but is like her energy is just so amazing. She's so sweet. The photographer, I was wearing a jacket and he was like, oh, can you take that off? So I did, but she was like, you shouldn't have to take it off if you don't want to. Like, but the fact that she was just talking to us was crazy. Um, and then we went to the after party. I shamelessly took off my shoes because I could not feel my feet. My heels were so high and had zero support. Um, and we got back probably at like two. Of course, I couldn't fall asleep. Um, and I was like, you know what, this morning I'm going to fully take advantage of the glam team being here. So that's what we're going to do. And then I think today, since their last day, I need to go to Acme. Oh my gosh, my hair. Um, I need to go to Acme and grab the scarf because they don't have it literally anywhere in the U.S., but they have it in London. Um, we're going to a museum. Today's just gonna be like more of like an explore day. And then tomorrow I have to leave so early in the morning. My flight is at 10 and I need to like edit this vlog. So that's kind of what's going on for the rest of the day. I'm gonna call room service. Let's see. Ooh. I'm gonna call room service cause my head hurts a little bit. And I'm ham and cheese omelet. Ooh, they have shakshuka. Also, so dehydrated. Hi, good morning. Um, can I order breakfast? Can I have a fresh orange juice, English tea, and then an omelet? Um, and the omelet comes with ham, cheese, and spinach, or you choose one. Mm-hmm. Um, can I just do a ham and cheese on that? Perfect. Thank you. Let me just say, every single person I talk to, they, like, answer the phone. They're like, good morning, Miss Stephanie. They're, the service here is impeccable, and I also need to go get cash so that I can tip everyone. Um, but they go above and beyond to get you every single thing that you need and are just so sweet and kind and amazing. Toast. Good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy your breakfast. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wants to finish. I don't hesitate to call for a few minutes. Perfect. I will. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so I just did my very, very light go-to new makeup routine, I guess. And now I'm going to get changed because we're going to start exploring London town. The outfit I'm wearing, I feel like it's like gives off very me vibes. Um, of course it's all black because what else do I wear? But let's go change and head off. Like also. I love this look. Sometimes having curly hair is so annoying because now I have to wet my hair because it's too dry. And it's like an awkward process, like sticking my head inside the shower. Water everywhere on my makeup. It's fine. We're fine.
hair is done. I'm wearing a hat today anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm talking to the vlog. Now we're going to Acne because I've been looking for this scarf forever and they haven't had it anywhere. But then the location here had the scarf. So we're gonna go buy myself a little gift. And I'm so excited. time together and like it was so sad like being like bye good thing is that out of the eight of us five are from new york or like live in new york so like while we're saying goodbye we're also like very close to each other in the city so we can always hang out i'm going to miss getting my glam done because that was just like so much fun so you can't so you can like sort of see but it was like a dark under the eye smoky situation which i've never done before and i'm fixing my hair again but it's like made me super excited to like take what he did and obviously not recreate it as well, but like recreate it somehow. I love this stuff. It's the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. Someone said there used to be a different cleansing balm. This one's charcoal. And I kind of like it because I feel like while you're taking off your makeup, the charcoal is like deep, is deep purifying, no, purifying your skin and takes off your makeup really well. 
The only thing I'll say, it turns into like a nice little balm. The only thing I'll say is that when you do your eyes, you have to be very careful because it sort of turns, not, it just makes it hard to see sometimes. You just gotta do what you gotta do. But the rest of your makeup will come off very easily. But like for the first cleanse, it does a really good job, I feel like. So now that that's done, I swear by double cleansing. I don't, I'm very particular about cleansers and I really like foamy cleansers. That's why Elta MD is my favorite cleanser of all time. But I love the outset one, outset. I feel like it really gets your makeup off or whatever's left of it, as well as like not stripping your skin too much. So. When I was home, I was talking to my mom and she was like, you know, you really should maybe think about getting Botox because you're such a facially expressive person <laughs> that you might just want to do it to preserve like your skin. And I'm going to be honest, I like kind of want to go for a consultation and just see what they say. I also think that my face is unsymmetrical, which I think a lot of people's is, but in pictures, I really notice it, how one side just like goes up and there's like the type of Botox like that you do in your masseter muscles that just helps you unclear, it helps just relax them to even out your face. And I wonder if maybe not exactly in my masseter, and like my jaw, but somewhere that I need a little bit of Botox just to even things out. So I thought about it. I don't know. I most likely will not go through with it, but it's always nice to just like have that option of like, maybe if I, like just maybe. So on TikTok, I did a campaign with Sunday Riley and I only use Sunday Riley products for seven days. And I will give you my honest opinion that, well, there are a lot of different honest opinions that I can give you, but on the good jeans, within the seven days, I genuinely noticed that my skin was a lot more supple and like had a very dewy, ...ness to it that I love this and if you're not someone who's like on retinol or on tretinoin or on some sort of like not resurfacing but you know the vibes that this is a really good alternative I just remember seeing a big difference and the fact that a product can take a product could change that within seven days, I think like is a testament to its power, one could say. So all I'm saying is maybe, maybe give it a try if you want a new product. I still wanna know what they used when I got that facial at the hotel because that left my skin very glowy. Another thing, I had short nails for a while, right? Like my nails kind of all broke and I told myself I was just gonna let them grow out, whatever. It was cute for a minute. But now that I have my long nails back, I am feeling unstoppable. I love the way they sound against every and anything. 
when my nails were short, I didn't get compliments on my hands. On this trip alone, I've gotten several compliments on my hands and on my nails. Also this color, if you're looking for a very like nudish pink, it's called Take a Bow, Take a Bow. I think it's called Take a Bow um, by OPI. They did three coats and it is such a good color. But I really wanted to do red, but I have a photo shoot with Pat McGrath on um, Friday. And they said, doesn't matter the length of the nail, but it has to be a nudish pink. So I was like, okay, whatever. The next time I get my nails done will be red. Even though it's gonna be past Valentine's Day. So that kind of like defeats the whole purpose. But again, you can't have everything. Another Sunday Riley product, because they actually do make really good products, is the five star retinoid and I retinoid plus niacinam niacinamide eye serum and you guys know i don't really know how effective eye serums are on me personally but what i will say is that this little applicator genius and it's also cool to the touch so when i would like use it like even this feels really nice and i feel like under your eyes the cooling aspect of it just like separates it from a lot of other eye creams i'm gonna leave this pouch out as my toothbrush like we're teeth tomorrow and some other goodies and then i think that's basically like me done with packing but i don't know back vlogging on my phone for a second because my computer is glitching and says I'm out of space when I know I'm not out of space and <laughs> my vlog camera now says I'm out of space and then I can't clear the space on that because my computer is glitching so we're gonna vlog on my phone for the very end which is not ideal obviously um it's currently 6.02 in the morning I have yet to sleep. My eyes are bloodshot. I am leaving to go to the airport at 6.30 because it's a 45 minute drive to Heathrow. It's now hitting me how exhausted I am. Um, and I have so much work to do in terms of like editing this video, editing like TikToks, like a ton of stuff. Um, because I just haven't had the time to do it here. And originally my plan was to do all of that on the plane, but now I think I'm gonna sleep on the plane. So tonight's just gonna be a long night. And I haven't been really like sleeping in London. Like I'll sleep for like an hour or two and then wake up and then like sleep for another hour or two later. So my sleep schedule is also like super messed up. So a lot of things are just not going ideal, but are going to make it, I'm acting as if it's a big deal. We're gonna be fine. I'm gonna sleep on sleep in the, sleep on the plane, sit in the lounge, eat some food. I'll be Gucci, and then be super revived by the time I wake up. The first thing I'm doing, this in order, once I get home, is I have to unpack just to like get it out of the way. I'm going to the Verizon store to get a new phone because all the girls on this trip were like, "What are you doing with that phone? You need a new one." I'm getting maximum storage on that phone, so I won't have issues vlogging, and then. I'm taking my stupid computer to Apple and they're gonna freaking fix it. I can't be happy, these like issues are, no, I can't be having them. Um, and I feel very passionate about that. And luckily my flight, because I'm leaving so early in the morning, I get to New York at like 1.30 p.m. So I think I'll be able to like get these things done. I just wanted to update you. So I don't think that I'm gonna like really vlog cause it's just gonna be like me sleep. I'm gonna vlog as much as I can. Um, but just so you guys know, this is like my little PSA telling you what's going on.